Welcome everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is season 16 of Time of Legends Joan of Arc and we are playing the Devil in Avignon expansion set. Uh, we've just painted up the Devil of Avignon. We just painted a, did a paint through video for that. Now we're going to do the, uh, the main scenario for this expansion set. Uh, it is called the Devil of Avignon and we are going to read through the origin uh, set up the get the basic board set up. We've got a um, papal army. We've got an unholy player with the devil and his henchmen. We've got intrigue cards. Uh, uh, got to get all the miniatures out on the board, uh, and we'll fast forward through all of this. Uh, we'll get the decks set up for uh, gameplay. It's going to be a six round game, and really the idea here we're going to use the legend deck in this game. And the idea here is mostly around uh, the papal army, uh, the pope getting destroyed by the unholy player, or the pope surviving, or if the devil is uh, destroyed uh, as victory points for either the unholy player or the holy player. Yeah, so we continue the setup. Uh, we've got the Italian reinforcements off the board. We'll get all the miniatures in place. And then obviously there's the devil and then there's the archangel counterbalancing themselves. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting into this one. Well, let's keep going with the setup and I'll read through from the uh, scenario. Okay, let's continue with the setup for season 16, the devil in Avignon. We've got our devil here. <clears throat> Just kind of show off the... The mini, we just did a paint through a video of this guy too. So he's, he's got this ruined church. He's crashed into this giant trident, uh, these bat wings. See the bat wings from below too. And he's got a fiendish look. Yeah, so here's our devil. And uh, let's kind of go into the setup. So we fast forwarded up to this point got the Archangel Gabriel on the board. Let's read a little bit from this one. It says, The Devil in Avignon, 1344. 1344. Pope Clement VI resides in Villeneuve les Avignon, a small town facing the papal city of Avignon across the Rhone. He secretly awaits for a Roman envoy, Cola de Rienzo, to, to escort him back to Rome. Rome has become too dangerous due to inner power struggles between the Orsini and the Colonna families. While the Pope is waiting, he starts discussing various topics with Nicholas, a young Spanish inquisitor, as well as the mathematician Jean de Mure and the Bishop Philip de Vitry, composer of the Ars Nova musical movement. Together with the Pope, Philippe and Jean discuss Ars Nova music at length, being opposed to the Cardinals advocating the last Pope's views on the new liturgical music, seen as decadent and even unholy. In the end, Clement VI accepted the new musical movement, the cardinals began mounting a scheme to the Pope and are quickly caught and thwarted, sentenced to burn at the stake and call upon all things unholy to avenge them, and evil itself has the final plea. So in this scenario, we've got six rounds. We've got the Inquisitor, we've got Philippe and Jean, uh, we've got Cola de Renzo, the Italian reinforcements, and we've got Pope Clement VI and the Archangel Gabriel, and then we've got the Devil. The Devil gets his own Devil card, show you here and the devil's also got his own minions so we can see that the devil's got uh, each time the devil performs a gigantic attack you can roll that purple giant attack um, he also has a melee attack automatic uh, roll for a kill he's got a giant attack and he's got some shield two black dice for shield so that'll be interesting. Uh, let's kind of read through some of the mechanics here, and then we'll um, we'll finish getting the armies placed on the board. So right up front, we've got the victory conditions. If Pope Clement the Sixth is destroyed, the unholy army wins the game. If Pope Clement the Sixth survives by the end of round six, or if the devil is destroyed, the papal army wins the game. So we also have this mechanism with four tokens. Uh, Pope Clement is hidden in one of the four structures here, and we'll put those as these four question mark tokens. Uh, when we flip them, we can randomize them and place them on the board. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we can do... So just place one, two, three, 
and four. So Pope Clement is hiding in one of those. Uh, we also have Italian reinforcements. At the beginning of the second round, place three units from the available Italian units in an area on the edge of the game board and receive one activation order. At the beginning of the third down round, all the remaining units from the available Italian units are placed to the edge of the board. And then we have special rules about detecting the Pope that we can kind of get into when we jump into round one. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do a little bit more setup, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up the setup round until we go into round one. So the setup for the miniatures are the unholy players' Italian units are placed on the side. The holy units uh, that are starting the game have to be placed around the housing in the village. And then the unholy units get placed on the four triangle markers that I'll show you in the scenario book. So we'll just get those minis out on the board. We'll get them roughly fast forward paced out here. Then I'll walk you guys through um, how we've got that set up. Yeah, and you can see with this flyover that we've got our villagers in place for the holy player. Uh, we start out with some halberdiers, some bowmen, and then we also have our demonic forces of the unholy off on those side areas, the wolves, flying demons, heretics. So yeah, and we also have to keep a unit inside each building, so we've got that set up. Here's our wolves, Archangel Gabriel. And let's get into the rest of the setup. Okay, so we've placed the minis on the board. Uh, I'll kind of go through that last bit of the setup and uh, we will talk about when the reinforcements come in and then we'll jump right into round one. So I'm gonna shuffle up these, uh, uh, the deck for our activation tokens, place that in place. And then we'll kind of go through the, the two setups. We did the quick flyover, uh, but we're starting out with Papal Army starts out with the Inquisitor, Philip, Jean, and then these uh, cards. All of those troops have been placed one per household unit. So we have troops in each of the houses, uh, as well as our token to reveal where the Pope is. Uh, we've got the uh, executioner here. Let me show that mini off. The executioner is always a fun mini to take a look at. And uh, we got the. Uh, uh, now there's four areas that you see with the black triangles here. These four areas are represented here, 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 and here. We have to have at least one unit of the unholy players. So I put the. Uh, flying demons here, the heretics here, um, the demonic legion here, and the wolves here. So we're going to start out with, with that kind of setup. Uh, just so we reference it, uh, the special rules for releasing the Pope and the Archangel, we'll talk about that. But we also have the Italian reinforcements. I've left the minis down here below. But let's kind of look at the cards for all the factions. So the cards that are on the board for the holy player are Jean Philippe and the Inquisitor, the Executioner, the Foot Knights, the Culverin, the Halberdiers, and the Bowmen. They're all in play. But starting on round two, we have some mechanics in place to move in the Genoese Crossbowmen, the Standard Bearer, the Musician, Paveziers, Mounted Knights, Mounted Bowmen, Cola de Rienzo. And then the mechanism for revealing the Pope and the Archangel Gabriel, the Pope, comes out based on those tokens. And we will release these uh, guys as we get through their round. From the Unholy Player's point of view, obviously we have the, uh, the epic devil. Giant mini of the devil here. Uh, and he'll come into play as needed. We've also got from the Holy Places the Archangel Gabriel here show him off as well and for the unholy player we have flying demons demonic legion wolves and heretics so that's gonna just about do it we'll do a final flyover and we'll see you guys in round one thanks for watching bye bye yeah, looking forward to jumping into round one. If you like what we're doing here, please like and subscribe. Check out our bookstore link below. You can check out our Patreon as well. 
and uh, really looking forward to jumping into this Devil of Avignon scenario. Uh, as usual, thanks to our Patreon supporters, thanks to our subscribers. Leave a comment below and we'll uh, have a dialogue there. See you in round one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.